Taking a quick look at the E-mini S&P 500s real quick, we're going to do something different today. We're going to look at these patterns that we currently have on this chart in this current bull market. So I took a segment from this pullback over here. This one pullback is very similar to this one over here. It's going to demonstrate real quick. Use my Fibonacci extensions, clipping from the pivot high, pivot low, pivot high. You can see right there, this pullback is very similar to this one. I want you guys to see that. Next, I can move to this segment over here. This one over here is very similar to this one over here. So I'm going to use my Fibonacci extensions again, clicking from that pivot high, pivot low, projecting to that recent high. And that will be another pattern that repeated itself. How about a small little pullback like this? So click from that pivot high, pivot low. We do have minor pullbacks such as ones like this that continue to repeat themselves. Now we have a pullback We're getting below these moving averages on the daily chart. Jumping on the hourly chart is also trading below that 200 moving average. Let's take a quick look where are some bigger pullbacks. Now we're not going to have small pullbacks like this. We may have something bigger, but let's just measure real quick. What is a small pullback? It may be about this much. And this pullback right here, the dollar amount, real quick, this dollar amount is 205.75. Now we may have a deeper pullback, such as ones like this, over 300. So I'm going to measure that. This is how I prep the market. So when market starts to pull back, I'm not really worried at all simply because I'm preparing for the next pullback and we may have a much deeper pullback as well so if I have to zoom out a little bit more if I were to use this pullback back in 2020 you can see if I were to use this pullback projected to that new recent high it may bring us right back down to 3326 that's also possible so we don't know what's going to happen. We're just going to continue to find this three price relationships again and again. And that may occur on a chart over and over again. Doesn't always happen. But right now we do have price that is getting below that 200. But you also take a look. We are still haven't made that lower low. You see right here? This low right here is still lower where price is currently trading at. You got to stay poised. You got to know, okay, I'm going to wait for the next pullback. And it may be a shallow pullback like this, something deeper or something intermediate, for example, for example, something like this. Okay. Bring backs back down to 4160, something like that. And that's how you start to make sense of this market by looking for patterns that may potentially repeat themselves over and over on a chart. Let's go over Okta on the daily chart. We got a small little pullback here using that 200 moving average on the daily chart. But if you flip through the hourly chart, the 200 moving average is at the very exact same spot. So I'm very interested to see if that error can hold because it's got two moving averages that potentially provide additional support. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look at some previous pullbacks. And these two pullbacks are very similar to this one over here. What I'm going to do, I'm use my trend based fib extension, clicking from that pivot high, pivot low, projecting to that new recent high. One more time, pivot high, pivot low, pivot high. Next, I'd like to use my Fibonacci retracements, pulling from that pivot low to pivot high. And we do have a 618 retracement that is slightly below that 200 moving average on the daily chart. So right now it's been supported by the 200 moving average. It did not enter into our three price relationship. This is just some pre-market data currently trading at 251. I'm not sure if it's going to open around that area, but taking a quick look right now, 251 is still above that cluster of symmetry support and also that retracement area of 618. What I'm going to do, I'm going to jump on the hourly chart. So what we need this thing to do. When market opens, okay, we need to have it get up above, stay up above these 200 moving average and create a new trigger for us on the 15 minute time frame to go long. Position size incorrectly, but you got to set your stop below this pivot low. Of course, not in this financial advice. 
If you'd like to learn how to find high probability setups using Fibonacci analysis, check out my course in the descriptions below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now, hit that notification button trying to get to a thousand subs. We go over cryptocurrencies as well as US equities. Love to hear from you in the comments area and I'll talk to you soon.